that's really bright. <laughs> Since I've done so many other healthy, like breakfast, lunch kind of style videos, so what does that mean? Dinner time! I'm gonna show you guys four of my favorite dinner recipes. They're so incredibly simple, they're delicious, they're healthy, and, and, and they're good. You guys, we are making spaghetti, fish tacos, a simple dinner, something else. I can't remember right now, but you'll find out. So are you ready? Yes, you are. Let's get started. The first recipe we're gonna make is spaghetti and meatballs. So what you are going to need is one spaghetti squash, and this is what we're gonna be using to make the spaghetti instead of noodles. And then you're gonna need some grass-fed beef, and then also some organic marinara sauce, and then you're gonna need a little bit of seasoning to season the meat with. The meat is antibiotic, hormone, all that kind of stuff free. It's organic, all natural, and I'm gonna season it with garlic powder, and then I'm also gonna season it with some spike. Then you just wanna mix it all together so that you can make sure that the flavors are gonna taste, wait, what? No, you need to mix it all together to make sure everything's mixed together so that it tastes flavorful. And then go ahead and spray some foil and then put it onto a little pan and then roll out all of your meatballs and then we are gonna put it in the oven at 375 degrees so they're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven and then in the meantime we are gonna go ahead and make that spaghetti squash so poke some holes in it so it doesn't like explode in the microwave and then you want to put it just in a microwave safe container slash dish and then go ahead and put that into the microwave for about six minutes and then you're gonna flip it over and do another six minutes and you want to keep doing that until it's all the way cooked and you'll know it's cooked when it's soft on the top go ahead and heat up your marinara sauce because you don't want it to be cold because that would not be good. So while I'm heating that up, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my spaghetti squash and my meatballs because it's all ready to go now. And then basically what you do is either using a fork or sometimes it already is just in noodle form, kind of like mine. You wanna pull out the spaghetti squash and then place your meatballs and sauce right on top and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic salt and that makes it taste super good. You can serve it with a side salad for dinner and it's delicious you're gonna feel like you're at an Italian restaurant but no you're not you're eating healthy and you're at home and it's delicious and yummy It's taco time, so we are gonna be making codfish tacos. You can use whatever kind of white fish that you wanna use. So I'm gonna spray down my pan, and I'm using frozen wild-caught cod. I find frozen fish is the easiest to use. And then you can just chop up whatever type of cabbage that you like. I'm gonna use purple and green cabbage. So we have like a variety. It's kind of like a rainbow, kind of, sort of. And then I'm using some chopped up cilantro, one fourth of an avocado. You wanna use a fourth of an avocado per person. So you're gonna be using one eighth per taco, if that kind of makes any sense. I don't know, I, I'm not good at math, but I feel like I did that correctly. So now I'm gonna be using some corn tortillas. This, these, these corn tortillas are literally just made out of corn. They're organic corn tortillas from Trader Joe's. There's no weird things in them. And once your fish is done, you put the fish inside of the taco. This is like very self-explanatory, but I'm gonna run you through it. And then you can put your cabbage on top. You can literally use whatever toppings that you want. I love cilantro on my fish tacos. You can squirt some lime on top or anything like that. I'm gonna add my one eighth of an avocado on each taco and then you can use whatever dressing you could do lemon lime some salt pepper i'm going to be using this soyaki dressing from trader joe's i feel like it gives it a really good flavor so good and there is your super healthy very delicious fish tacos so let's tear down brick by brick because it's not a helping anyone Super scrumptious salmon salad. Can there be any more S's in that? Probably not. So I'm gonna be using frozen wild caught salmon. Again, frozen is just the easiest, as long as you just make sure that it's wild caught. And then we're gonna use the baby lettuce, the baby organic lettuce from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna be using this organic smoky tomato dressing. You can use whatever toppings that you like. So I'm just gonna lay down a bed of lettuce and then place some shredded carrots on top. You could do cucumbers. You can really do anything you want. I'm just gonna be using some baby tomatoes and some chopped up pecans. And then go ahead and place your salmon on top. This is already marinated in just like spices. But I, if I were you, I would just do salt and pepper. And then the dressing by Annie's is gonna add a lot of the flavor. It's so good. This salad is amazing. It's one of my favorite things to eat for dinner. It's very healthy, very delicious, and very filling um, because the salmon has a lot of protein and healthy fats. The 
last dinner that we're going to make is grilled veggies with some type of protein. So you can use whatever vegetables that you want. I'm choosing zucchini and some onion and bell pepper. So you just want to go ahead and chop all of those up. You can literally use whatever veggies that you want. I actually have this really cool little indoor grill that's super easy and simple and convenient to use and I just grill my veggies for three minutes on each side so three minutes flip them over and then grill them on the other side for another three minutes and then now it's time to do your protein so I'm just using some turkey breast if you're vegan or vegetarian you can use tempeh or tofu any type of meat substitute and then I'm just gonna grill that like four minutes on each side and then I top it off with this amazing Trader Joe's soyaki sauce you could use like a little little bit of some type of like soy sauce or like liquid aminos and then I'm using a fourth of an avocado for added healthy fats this is super filling because you have your protein your fiber from the vegetables and the healthy fats and then we I use a little bit of this African smoke seasoning from Trader Joe's it's amazing and that's that watching enjoy those delicious dinners and if you make any of them please send me a picture with the hashtag Cambria's Kitchen you can send me pictures on Twitter and Instagram I love 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 when you send me pictures of what you recreated get on that hashtag girl or boy man woman people that being said I do have a Twitter and an Instagram both Brie loves beauty very easy same here same there I also have a vlog channel which I've been doing tons of vlogs I actually just did a Trader Joe's vlog and I kind of show you guys the healthy groceries that I bought so if you want to check that video out that will be linked in the description box okay guys I will see you in my next video bye it's not focusing mom can you help me too? Help me. Alright, this is okay. Can you help me? Why you can't focus? Um, can't even focus. So people just can't hang. Like my camera. Good thing I'm done, cause the camera's gonna die. <laughs> but I'm already done filming the video, so <laughs> go ahead and die. One job, camera. One job. Flash your red button. But you ain't gonna stop me from filming. No, you not. Mixing it all together, and you know that it's the best of both worlds. <laughs> I left my camera bag on the sink. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to eat cute, okay? I'm saying it. Ain't nobody got time for that. That doesn't go there. I feel like I'm in Lady in the Tramp. Come here, Jack. Come be with me. Come on. You want the meatball? Don't you like dog food? <laughs> I was just kidding. Sorry. You, you could eat dog food. Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just leave me.